Sheen Chat. Yeah, boy. Welcome, everyone, to the Sheen Chats channel. We are here to talk about the secret endgame bosses in the Abrasar region of Outward. These are the very difficult bosses that can only be found once you have completed your faction quest. You must then find the entrance to their lair and do something unique in order to get in. The desert region of Outward has three unique bosses, and they are Calixa, the Elite Crescent Sharks, and the Beast Golem. Do not enter these boss fights all willy-nilly. These are quite difficult, and they may not be the hardest bosses in the game, but they pack a punch, especially the Crescent Sharks. So let's start out with Calixa. She's the form the Levant Queen took after Elat saved her from dying. Head to her throne in Levant to find the entrance to her arena. You will need to interact with her shield here, but it will say you're not prepared unless you activate all your boons. Specifically, you will need to have the following boons active. Discipline. Blessed. Cool. Enrage. Mist. Possessed. Warm. In total, you will need all seven boons active on your character at one time. This should only be required the first time you enter the arena, and really isn't that big of a deal since most builds require at least half of these boons to be decent anyway. If you went with a no mana build or haven't found all the boons, you can craft potions to give you the same effects. As far as Calixa herself, she's pretty tough. She has a move where she can shoot two bullets at you, one decay and one cold damage. She will do this if you stay a good distance from her, and if you just run right or left, it is pretty easy to avoid. She also swings a giant mace that does a little bit of damage in each element and a lot of impact. She has a gong strike and a shield bash as well. Getting hit by either of these attacks will hurt a lot and deal massive impact almost always knocking you down. Ranged attacks are great for this boss fight since the bullets she shoots at you are very easy to dodge. Melee combat can be tricky, but if you wait for her to do a large attack like Gong Strike or Shield Bash and then move in for an attack, you should be able to hurt her without taking any damage. Try and use something that will knock her down quickly. I also would like to mention here that Mana Ward gives you a pretty nice window of invulnerability for those of you struggling to attack without getting hit. I used this skill during this fight and it helped me out a lot. Do make sure you bring health potions. You will need a few, and you have a nice window to take them, since Calixa has to stop moving to shoot you. Wait till after the shot, then heal up quickly, preparing to roll out of the way as soon as it's done with the animation. She is immune to bleeding and poison, so don't try and use that against her if you were planning on it. Elemental damage is the key here, since she's more resistant to physical damage than anything else. Stay mobile, and plan your attacks carefully. A difficult battle, but not too bad once you get used to Calixa's moves. Next up, we have what is considered to be one of the hardest bosses in Outward, the Elite Crescent Sharks. There are three of these guys in one arena, and they're huge. I managed to beat both of the other bosses while recording this video, but not the Crescent Sharks. They're fast, and getting hit once means getting hit three times. You will need to head over to the top right area of the desert and enter the Electric Lab. Have five power coils with you to get into the arena. There are a few in this dungeon as well as some being sold in Levant. Once you have your five power coils and enter the lab, ride the elevator down one floor. Pop your boons here unless you're going to defeat the golems guarding the entrance. Take a hard left, and there's a machine behind the chest there. Interact with it, and you will be transported to the watery arena of the Crescent Sharks. So yeah, here's where things get a bit crazy. These guys do ethereal damage and physical damage. Ethereal damage hits really, really hard, and there are very few armors with any resistance to it. Wolf plate armor is really good here, but it's quite hard to find. Ornate chests in the desert can drop it, or get it from the smuggler in the slums of Levant. The Armory in Hermatin has a chance to sell it as well if you didn't get the Smuggler. The Crescent Sharks have passive health regen, so you need to hit them constantly or lose a lot of your progress. Additionally, you will need to focus down one at a time to be more efficient in this battle. Running in for quick attacks after they bite you works pretty well. Get some distance between you and them, then run and dodge near them so they attack. Now focus rapid fire attacks onto the one with the lowest health. The most frustrating thing about this battle is it's very tedious, and you can be killed almost instantly if you make a mistake. 
You might be thinking, oh, well, I'll just do ranged attacks and keep my distance. That's fine and all, but the sharks leave behind mana bombs that deal a lot of ethereal damage. You have to be constantly looking for the mana bombs or risk blowing up and getting knocked down just in time to be eaten alive. Like I said, <laughs> a very difficult boss fight. Healing is pretty hard too, since the sharks don't leave you alone for very long. I think having a weapon that swings and hits all three sharks at once would be pretty good. High impact weapons and a lot of stamina regen are essential. In all reality though, you can quickly embarrass these guys by wearing a full set of wolf plate armor. High defense against physical and ethereal damage takes away a lot of their power. So if you get sick and tired of these menacing sharks killing you over and over, maybe it's time to go farm for a new armor set. The final boss in the Abrasar Desert is the Elite Beast Golem. To fight him, you will first need to get your hands on the Giant Iron Key. It must be in your inventory the first time you enter the arena, and it can be bought from the Soraborian Caravaner. If you never end up getting it from him, however, you can head to the Blacksmith in Harmattan. He has the highest chance to sell it. Once you have the key, head to the shipwrecks in the middle of the desert. Here, you can find this arena where you can walk up onto one of the boats. Near the bottom end of this boat, there are two doors. This is the entrance. Kind of a weird boss fight, if I'm being honest. The Golem has health regen, but is very, very weak to ethereal. Use that element, and he doesn't pose much of a challenge. He really only has two sets of attacks. One is a pouncing attack that deals physical damage. The other is what is best described as lasers. He shoots three times and will deal fire and frost damage to you. Unfortunately, this attack can burn and inflict slowdown on you. It is best to avoid these attacks, but if you want to be prepared to mess up, have a lot of fire resistance. Water in the pouch is good, but the boss won't give you a ton of time to take it. Staying in close and blocking the physical attacks is your best option here. Put an ethereal varnish on and knock him down so much he can't attack. He will get the upper hand if he hits you too much though. He can inflict pain, confusion, bleeding, slowdown, and burning. After you add all those onto your character, there isn't much you can do. I did not find this to be one of the more difficult fights. Make sure to dodge the lasers, block physical attacks, and deal high impact damage to him. May sound like I'm repeating this over and over, but Ethereal will really do some damage to this guy, so just have at least one varnish for this fight. He can't be bled, burned, or poisoned, since, well, he is a robot, but you shouldn't have much trouble here. Mana Trap for Rune Mages is S tier in this battle, so maybe consider using that if you have it. I would say this is the easiest boss fight in the desert region, so maybe start with it if you're just getting into these harder bosses. Overall, reaching these bosses is pretty easy. You will need to worry about the heat while traveling around this roasting desert, but once inside the arenas, you have that good old Sheen Shot's knowledge of how to take these guys down. Each boss poses different challenges, and is going to be more or less difficult depending on how you set your character up. Just remember, you don't have to always use the same armor all the time. With Definitive Edition coming up, it will be easier than ever to store armor for these fights, and I suggest you switch it up if you're having any trouble. It is always possible to beat any boss with any armor or weapons, but why make it harder on yourself? Try some of these boss fights if you're up for the challenge, and always remember to potion up before you enter the arenas. The bosses won't wait around for you to get more powerful. Comment down below which of these three bosses gave you the biggest challenge, and I will catch you in the next video.